family. Happy Christmas Eve. It is now day 24 of Vlogmas. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, family. Hey, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So now day 24, the question of the day is why do we fail at relationships? Let me just mention that I did a previous video, why do we keep failing at relationships. I will definitely link it up here some at some point within the video. And of course, it will be down in the description box below. So make sure that you go ahead and watch that one. But wait after this one. <laughs> okay, so why do we fail at relationships? Today, I have 13 reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. So this one is not too long. The very first reason is that we give ourselves an option to fail. What do I mean by that? We give ourselves options we give ourselves the option well you know what if this one don't work out there's so many more fish out and see like so we give ourselves the option for it not to work and once we have that in our mind that it is an option to stay it's an option to go then we kind of start living like that and if you don't believe me trust me we do it's, it's a subconscious thing something that we don't really think about that we're doing but when you give yourself that option for that relationship to fail because there's somebody else out there there's somebody else who's calling me there's somebody else who think i'm fine you are giving yourselves an option to actually fail at your current relationship or even one that you're going to get into in the near future so if you take that out of your mind that I'm not talking about the dating phase, y'all. I'm talking about the relationship that you actually, you know, once you actually meet the person and y'all decide that you're going to be in a relationship. And it's good. No abuse and all of this stuff, right? It's a good one. It has some issues in there. But overall, it's a good one. That's what I mean by that. Don't give yourself that option to fail. I don't know if y'all believe in the law of attraction, but I definitely believe in, and I don't, I'm not going to say that I wholeheartedly believe in it per se. What I will say is that I definitely believe in what God is going to give to me. Some people say the universe, you know what I mean? So it depends on what words you want to put in there. But what I do believe is that what you think about, what you put your time and energy into is what will thrive within your life. So if you think that you're um, going to give yourself an option not to thrive within your relationship, then your relationship will not thrive. Hence, failing at another relationship. The second reason that we fail at relationships is because we're not all in with the person. We're not all in with the relationship. We are not all in because we go back to, I got options. Or, you know, th there are some other things that you have going on in your mind, maybe about your, about your spouse or even about yourself. So you are not fully committed. You are not fully in that relationship. The third one is that we do not show our partner enough gratitude. We don't. We're not grateful or thankful or, you know, gratitude, whatever word you want to insert in there. We're not thankful, grateful, or showing gratitude enough towards our partner. So another reason why relationships could fail because all of us, all of us want to feel like we are needed within the relationship to a certain degree. We want to feel that you want us there. We want to feel that you need us there. We want to feel like we are a part. This is a partnership that we are a part of when it comes to our spouse. And so when we don't feel that, it's like, oh, well, you know, this relationship might fail too. The fourth reason is because it's just not important enough for it not to fail. You got other things going on. Work might be taking over. You're thinking about your money. You know, you're thinking about the newest car. You're thinking about the newest vacation. You're thinking about how you need to visit this person. Your relationship is not a priority. So it's not important enough for you to not fail at this relationship, which is another reason why we're failing at these relationships. It needs to be more important in our lives. Fifth one is actually pretty big because a lot of us need to work on this, which is we have negative thoughts or negative outlooks on relationships in general. And so when you go in there with a negative mindset already, and I have another video about the mindset and how you, you know, getting the relationship that you deserve. So you can check that one out again after this, <laughs> right? So you already got two videos to check out after this. Anywho, right? So, um, yeah, it's, it's your mindset. If you are constantly being that negative person about your relationship, what you think about all day is what actually occurs. This relationship ain't gonna work out. Guess what? The relationship ain't gonna work out. Man, he really don't like me. Guess what? He probably really don't like you. 
Man, she don't like me. Guess what? She probably really don't like you. Be more positive about your relationship and you'll see a difference in your relationship. Start small. Give gratitude. I am so positive. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm so positive. Like I have a great relationship. Is it perfect all the time? Of course not. But I have a great relationship. And I definitely give him, uh, you know, show him gratitude about the little things, about the big things, just about him, period. He does the same thing. And notice, I also notice this is a free bonus, not even on my list. Free bonus is once you start doing these things, like showing gratitude specifically is what I'm talking about. Guess what he going to start doing to you? He going to start saying stuff back to you. Or, or fellas, if you happen to be the one watching this, right? You're, you're showing gratitude. You're actually verbally saying these things to your girl. Guess what she going to start doing to you? And it's not going to be happening right away. But over time, you're going to notice that she's starting to pick up on what you're doing. And that's what my fiance is doing with me. He's starting to pick up on the very thing that I do with him. He does it to me now. And it feels great. It feels good. You have to be the leader in your relationship. If you want your relationship to thrive and not to fail, you have to start being the, the leader in your relationship. And it's all about the small things. It doesn't have to be the large things that you have to think about. Oh, I need to take this over. I need to, I need to control this. Start small. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Man, that's what's up. Fist bump. Whatever, whatever it is you need to do. These six things that we're a little too cautious. A little too cautious in relationship because we don't want that person to get us before we get them. Ain't nobody going to get me. I done got got already. I'm tired of getting got. Too cautious. Number eight, we're going off of past family um, uh, things that we've seen in the past or even it's uh, subconscious might, even be, might not even be something that you're consciously thinking about. But it's like, oh, my mama got cheated on or my mama told me not to trust men or, you know, he used to do that. My father used to do this. My, you know, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on about what happened in, either in your past or within what you've seen growing up. Somebody else's stuff. You taking it on. And what you think about is what actually comes to fruition. So you think that you're going to have a failed relationship. You're going to fall right into a failed relationship. Number nine, we start internalizing our partner's flaws. Instead of thinking about all of the good that they're bringing to the table. Because you two are doing some annoying things to your partner. You might think that you're the only one that's being annoyed, but trust and believe you are annoying your partner. That's the name of the game. That's what happens. Y'all two different people trying to come together to be one, especially in the beginning. Relationships are very rocky in the beginning because you have these two bulls and they like, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. And, and it's really not that serious. You got to back up. It's not that serious. Just, just let some of this go. Let some of that unwanted, unnecessary energy flow <laughs> that actually leads me into number 10 which i kind of already brought it up we try to be at war with each other you at war with your partner your partner's at war with you and a lot of it has to do with i'm right 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 i'm right, I'm right. you gonna see my point of view you're gonna do it my way i'm right i'm right and then we get into these unnecessary arguments because i'm right you want to be right or you want to be in a relationship think about it number 11 some of us are not happy with ourselves and we take it out on our partners leading to a failed relationship you got to take care of that baggage sis you got to take care of that baggage bruh then get into a relationship so you don't have to worry about taking your issues out on your partner who does not deserve them and they don't have no idea what's going on and why they are now receiving this crap Take care of your stuff. Number 12, we are failing at our relationships because we don't ask enough questions. The first thing smoking that comes in, that's smiling in our face, we all happy-go-lucky. Next thing you know, we're in a relationship. We didn't take our deal breakers into consideration. We just jumped in head first. And now we at a point like, who... Did I get in this relationship? And some of us even go as far as getting married to these to these people. We have no idea who these people are. And then you're the next person that's on the news. Like, well, I didn't know. 
sounded like the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, you sounded like that neighbor that, oh, that, that, he was a good person. Oh, he was good. He was a pillar in the community. That's, that's going to be you about your spouse because you didn't ask enough questions. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm making jokes, but y'all need to tighten this up. Just because you want to be into a relationship, ask a multitude of questions. I don't care if he getting mad. I don't care if she getting mad. I'm not saying you got to uh, bombard him with 25 questions in one day. But before you say I do, you need to at least know 25 things about the person. Some of these people getting into the relationship don't even know the last name. They don't even know the social security number. Yeah, that's sensitive. But if I'm marrying you, I need to know that. You need to know mine. Some of y'all not even asking the basic questions about these people. And you talking about going down the aisle with them. Your body part's going to be found somewhere because you don't know this person. Anywho, mention number 13, two which is we have the wrong mindsets about relationships overall. But in addition to that, we have the wrong mindset about our partners as well. We just need to tighten up, y'all. We need to tighten up. Go ahead and watch the video about why we keep failing at relationships. And after that, watch the video about the mindset and uh, getting the relationship that you deserve. Go ahead and watch both of those. Those will definitely help you guys out. Now, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me, Me, and you loving my advice and you loving what everybody is saying in the comments, then you make sure that you go ahead and subscribe as well because here at I Love Me, 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 I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and the tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can stop failing at these relationships, so we can increase the marriage rate and, of course, decrease the divorce rate. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.